Hi and welcome to another video help file. This one we're going to talk about how we've kind of turbocharged some of the HTML tables with additional features. Here we're looking at the current uh, home page or front page if you prefer on HamptonBud.com and you see down here on the bottom right I have a table. This is a table of data and these are the column headers for each of the columns. Now you can see that we can sort on these by clicking on the arrows. We want to see sorted by votes, highest votes first, or, or rather the lowest votes first in this case. If we click it again we'll get the highest votes first. So it basically toggles uh, the sort order. Uh, if we want to go by name, we want to look up by last name for example, we can click on that. So that's a small example. Anytime you see these arrows on a table of data, or in fact the only time you'll see these is when you're looking at a table of data, uh, then it means that you're able to sort on that column. Now let's take a little more realistic example here under videos and I'm going to show you how powerful these videos are. I'm going to grab all the videos and uh, we have well over two and a half thousand videos uh, which it's going to go and grab and when it does uh, There we go. Well, not quite two and a half thousand, two thousand four hundred eighty two videos at the moment. And you see it says please wait loading two thousand four hundred eighty two videos. Basically you don't want to be trying to interact with the screen at this stage because it's still loading up all the information. Uh, when it completes uh, then we'll be able to do some real work. So there we are. We're done. It disappeared. That means the, the table is ready to be worked on. So we're looking at every video we have for all of these bodies and you can see we have these arrows, which means we can sort based on those arrows. Uh, we have body name here, for example, so we can sort on that. But what's even more powerful, I suppose before I show you that, I should show you the pagination. Right now we're showing you 10 entries per page, and you can change the pages here. But you can also say, you know, show me more than 10 per page, say 25, 50, or 100 in this case. So let's. Uh, Let's do 100 just for fun. You can see you get a whole lot of stuff down here. And you still have the pagination, only now there's 100 per page. Showing 1 to 100 of the 2,482 pages. Click on page 2 and you'll see showing 101 to 200 of 2,482 pages. So more, the most valuable feature, I think, in addition to the sort, which is in, is in fact valuable. For example, if you wanted to do what's the longest or the shortest, uh, videos. You can just click on the sort button. Anyway, let's let's check out the sort feature because it's really uh, very powerful. Let's say you wanted to look up information for Lafayette Road. If you type in the letters, every time you type in the letter, it's going to filter the uh, the table of data. So L A for Lafayette. So see, it's picking up everything with L A. F A Y, that should be enough to pick up Lafayette Road. And you can see that we picked up 24 entries. All of these have some sort of reference to Lafayette Road in the title. And we can sort by length, just as I showed you before, or the date, or the body. And uh, let's do another search. Let's try the uh, grist mill. Let's see, just type in grist. You see, it just pops up pretty almost instantaneously. Again, because we have 2,482 videos loaded in the PC's memory, it's just searching inside of the memory, so it's very quick. You could just change this sort to pretty much anything that might be useful to you, like, say, a dam. And we have the Gristmill Dam, the Ice Pond Dam, etc. So, these are all the videos. Uh, and how you can use the tables. You'll see these tables uh, in various places and that's basically how you use them uh, and uh, that's about it for now. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.